Okay, this is exercise six. This is similar to something that you did um, recently. Um, again, a fairly simple idea. Uh, the example is Julia sings, Marcus hears Julia sing. And as I explained before, this is done with an infinitive. Literally in English, it sounds like this, Marcus hears Julia to sing. But don't worry about how it sounds in English. Just focus on the way it's done in Latin. So, Julia sings, Marcus hears Julia sing. So again, subjects here, direct objects here, infinitives here, and either dicit or dicunt, depending on who the subject is. So, um, we start with a simple statement. The boy sleeps. The ending here is dormit, right? Puer dormit. And then we turn it into what is called an indirect statement. The medicus, the doctor sees that the boy is sleeping or the doctor sees the boy sleep. So here we're gonna use an, inf a, an accusative and an infinitive. That's the general rule here. Accusative, infinitive, accusative, infinitive. Um, so puer dormit medicus puerum dormire videt. Number two. The doctor now says the boy is sleeping. This is weird. It seems like, oh, okay. The, the, the doctor says the boy is sleeping. And now the, the, the doctor is saying or says that the boy is sleeping. Now, this book still includes these little quotes here. I'm not sure if this was something about the way the guy who wrote this book, how they did it in his country. He's a, a Danish guy. I don't, know, I don't know why we need the quotes here because you've taken a direct quote and turned it into an indirect statement. So in English, we wouldn't have quotes like this, but the book does this. But anyway, disregard the quotes here and just say, Medicus Dicit, the doctor says that the boy, and again, done with an accusative and an infinitive. So Medicus Puerum dormire dicit. Since that one was so similar to this one, I'm going to actually go one further and give you number three as well. So this is something about the boy's tongue is red, and now the doctor sees that his tongue is red. So again, direct statement, lingua pueri rubra est. Lingua has to match up with rubra, lingua rubra. Lingua pueri rubra est. And now the doctor sees that his tongue is red. We're going to use accusatives and infinitives. The medicus linguam eos, his, rubram esse. So if we have like um, am here and we've got an adjective modifying it with this verb is, then we're going to make sure that this is also accusative. Medicus linguam eos rubram esse videt. I don't know if you remember, but essay is the infinitive for est and sunt. So I hope that's enough to get you started. Um, I'm going to move exercise seven into this for a second. These are obviously just the straight up questions. Ubi habitat medicus, where does the doctor live? Uh, don't forget that quo means where to. Um, Arkesit is the, uh, a new verb, and it means to fetch or to get or to summon. Um, but mostly you should be able to follow the text with these uh, questions. They typically go in the order that the, the story goes. There's, there's actually a few more questions on the next page here, so it doesn't end with six. So please do up to what, whatever number it is. And that is it. I hope this helps. Please feel free to uh, shoot me a remind um, if you need further help with it. Okay, take care.